Hey friends, today I am going to tell you about how to create the Pareto chart in Minitab. So here you can see the Minitab screen and I have put the data in this form tabular form in which first column you can see the defect phenomena where all the defects are mentioned and in second column there is a defect quantity for each and every defects you can see here. Now what we need to take, we need to go to the stat, click it then go to the quality tools and click the Pareto chart. So after clicking Pareto chart, it will show this tab. So first in defects or attribute data, you need to select the C1, which is at your defect phenomena. And in frequency, which is a quantity, you need to select the C2, which is a defect quantity. You need to click it. Now, here you can see the combined remaining defect into one category after 95%. You can do it if there is a multiple defects, but if defects are less, only you have 5, 10, 12 data, so you can also do, do not combine. Then you know to go to the options and in X label, you need to write what is the category. This is defect phenomena. And in Y label, you need to put defect quantity. You can name the title of this chart. So I have mentioned here Pareto chart of defect. Now we need to do this OK and put this OK. Now this Pareto chart of defect is created where in Y axis defect quantity is mentioned. In X axis, this is a defect phenomena. And you can see the all defects are written here, OD oversize the bore oversize crack all this it is written here then defect quantity and defect percentage individual percentage and cumulative percentage is also mentioned here and now we need to create the we need to add the value so for that you need to go to add and click on data labels and check the use y value label that i have done this okay so now defects are mentioned here, cumulative percentage are there and you can see the 84% of your over problem, all problem is related to these first, second and third defect. So now you can take the project on the first project uh, defect which is a OD oversize and you can do the, uh, use the Pareto chart why to analyze your problem which is your bigger problem and how to solve this problem. Okay, thank you and if you like the video, please like and share and also do not forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.